Welcome, everybody, to another Georgia Archery Podcast. I'm your host, Big John Chandler, and, well, uh, looks like I have a couple of co-hosts today. Uh, of course, you know my co-host, Robbie. <laughs> What's uh, going on? So, And uh, sitting beside me, I have uh, the Ken Zydale. The one and only. The one Zydale. and only. One and only with yeah. you tonight. So, What's going on, Kenneth? He was hanging out. He was hanging out here, and so I said, let's just uh, put a pair of earphones on him and let him go to rock. Thought we'd come in tonight, do a little 4 H and uh, getting done with the kids. And thought I'd stick around and talk to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna let him replace me. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Oh, no, 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 no. He, yeah, he's got to read all this. He'd be like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. But anyway, so what's been going on, Robbie? It's not, it seemed like I've seen you here, like, um, you know, not too long ago. It's been like face to face several times here. I like, know, man. We go three and a half years or so and don't see one another but like once or maybe twice and twice. Then now we've seen each other like two weekends back to back three or four times in just a couple of weeks it's That's crazy right. it's crazy as i'll get out but no it's been good got some lifts in today um got everything got received into inventory you a, and get a bottom lands in did not get any bottom land but i got a first light specter and a sitka sub alpine sold an alpha x 33 today um, got a 30 to build. Actually going to do a, a, a Facebook video, or not Facebook, but a YouTube video YouTube. with a buddy of mine, um, Nick Edwards, that has a YouTube channel, Raising Arrows, and he's got a new Alpha X that just came in, so we're going to build it Monday. Hopefully, he'll have that video up on his YouTube channel in a couple of days or so afterwards. So, Just been hanging out, man, putting bows together, um, you know, doing a thing. How about y'all? Let's see, uh, I was trying to be as lazy as could uh, Sunday after um, our all day, every day, uh, <laughs> watching the kids shoot all day. Um, that made for a long day. I'm going to apologize to everybody because the other parts of the podcast are not up yet. The ones we, we recorded there, mm -hmm. um, they will go out in pieces um, from each interview. I'll break them apart and put their names and stuff, and they'll start going out this week. I did have a retro TikTok go out, um, and everybody saw it go everywhere else, too. Um, mm -hmm. I saw just, that. that just, was, John, you had a lot less gray. It wasn't near as much gray in that. <laughs> I seen it, and I was at first, I was like, man, that ain't. No, 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 that's got to be old. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I put the little retro retro logo on the side of it. Yeah, I didn't but, catch uh, that. I just, at first, I seen your face, and I'm like, uh. Yeah, no, that's 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 not John of today. No, it was definitely not. 2011, I think, is when that went out. So that's when this. That's when actually that was the the first podcast, I believe. That was what the first video. Um, so that's on the Georgia Archer YouTube channel. It is on the YouTube channel. It's the first. I think it's one. It's the first one that was a true interview, FaceTime, you know, who mm -hmm. shot where type thing. So. That was back at the old Lake Oconee. Uh, no, this was at the house before that. Oh. This was actually uh, turned on the laptop and did it straight off the laptop. Dang. It's crazy. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, we did that. and uh, Homeschool classes started back today. So, uh, taught a lot of new, had a bunch of new ones and returnings coming in so they're another seven weeks of teaching them how to how to do their thing i'm gonna ask ken what you've been doing besides uh fighting fires or keeping fires from being fall not sure which fires we're fighting anymore <laughs> they, uh, got a little behind uh season kind of snuck up on me i got to start you know started getting started with you with indoor and yep um of course work, work gets in the way work gets in the way and getting sick gets Sickness in the way gets so in the way. Um, trying to get ready for nationals in Kentucky and uh, shift gears to shift gears to 3D and was a little disappointed. I didn't get to go to Baker this weekend. Uh, I was really looking forward to that, but I did get up to see everybody at S3DA. Yep. And got to see some old faces and uh, hang out a little bit, and that was pretty fun. And then as soon as we got back from that, I uh, was able to get the wife motivated, and we got out and uh, – Got some bows ready to go, so I think we're 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 ready for three D season, and uh, uh, we're just putting along just a little late. <laughs> so, Ken, I take it that y'all are not going to Foley this weekend. 
I will not make Foley, but I should see everybody at Benning. So that's that's the word is none of us us three won't be there. <laughs> nope, I won't be there. Um, but I got to look. What? Do, and of course, I know this is off topic, but do we know when the dates for Benning are? Yes, uh, they're on the Georgia Archery calendar, sir. <laughs> well, I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Pull up the calendar, man. It's on there. Um, it, it is the weekend, weekend after, after we get back from Kentucky. Yep. It is uh, the third week, fourth weekend in March. So it's 22nd, yep. 23rd, 24th. Yeah. So. I may be able to ride over on a Sunday, but the following weekend I'm off on half day Friday and Saturday because and, I'm going you. to the coast to go coast. fishing. So I heard you tell me that. If I try to take two Saturdays off in a row, I'll be unemployed. <laughs> I understand that. And the bill's still got to get paid. Yeah. yeah. But uh, speaking of bow setups, well, uh, you know, I had a I had a big brown truck stop at the house uh, Monday. Uh-oh. Dropped off a new toy. Uh-oh. Um, I put the, I said, I said, I got to get up. That was Monday, right? We come in Tuesday. I was like, well, got to come in. Got to go to work early. Why? I said, I got a new toy to play with. Um, so I opened it, put the strings on it, put everything's on it. I've shot about 25 shots through it. Uh, it'll make its debut very soon. It's, uh, that's my 3D bow. So, Heck yeah. uh, Reckoning Gen 2, 39, 70 pounds. And it's pretty cause it's, uh, what, uh, illusion green with white limbs. Ooh. It is pretty. So it'll make mm-hmm. its debut very shortly i just want to put it all together i did a few uh videos of me putting the strings on and stuff like that so i'll cut that up and stick it out did you get to do that with your new camera no i did not <laughs> get to do that with the new camera i got to do that with my little pocket camera because it's just easier and i knew how to work it i haven't played with the new camera but guess what you spoke of the new camera we're you're not, not blinking john. that's right you're not, not blinky john. john um so Ken's over here going, oh, Lord. Um, but and it's doing a good job. I mean, from is. what I can see, y'all look good. Um, you're pretty pretty much in focus, and everything back beyond y'all all is, blurred out. is blurred out. So you've got the, the F-stop now where it needs to be. That's, that's what I was hoping for. We're working on it, trying to get it right. Um, but let's. Uh, we do have a podcast. Dude. Yeah, we need to jump in this. We done jumped off into a rabbit hole pretty oh, quickly. That's what's going to happen. So who shot this past weekend there? Right. You want to let Ken take the first one? Can you read it? Can you read from here? Yeah. Uh, so it looks like on Saturday we had the folks at Coastal, a new club set up down there in South Georgia on the coast. Uh, looks like they had 31 archers show up, so that's pretty good. That seems like a pretty good turnout. I was looking forward to maybe getting down there one day myself and we'll try to travel around a little more this year and see some more of the folks in Georgia. So hoping to make a stop down there at some point. But, March uh, 17th. Great turnout it looks like. Yeah. They're, so and that's that's over on the coastal teams. side, so it's gonna be sandy and yep. uh, all them bushes with thorns and stuff it's on them. Good, good flat cactus, and you better not shoot and miss. <laughs> there might be an alligator <laughs> in the swamp. Either. Yeah, no joke. Well, right. also on Saturday we had Baker Circuit uh, over at Rocky Branch, yep. and they had forty-four archers. Yeah, and they paid out big money. I saw that. I don't know if you've seen how they how that works or read their rules and stuff. They're working pretty good, um, and uh, had a good time. There was a few guys that we know that come down from different places, and mm-hmm. podiumed over All there. All Tizer so, shot in it, did he not? Yes, sir. All Tizer does shoot in the um, yeah, in the, uh-huh. in the Baker Circuit, and uh, um, so now is that a new thing? I mean, like this. You know, it's three. I think it's three years old now, but okay. I ain't positive on that. Okay. But uh, it's a bigger buy, bigger buy-in, bigger payout. It's, mm-hmm. You know, and they just pay a host club a certain amount per archer. So. Gotcha. It looks like a, it looks like a real cool setup, and right now, you know, they're trying to grow it. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward myself to getting to go and and, and shoot one or two of them this year. Well. Um, there will be one in Gainesville. There will know, be one in Gainesville. And, and I know you. I know, I'm I know go you've shot Gainesville before. So, I mean, so. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a lot of fun. And right now, you know, as they're trying to grow it, I think there's some. Uh, if you look on their website, I think there's discounts. some discounts if you'll bring a friend. That's so, right. Oh well, yeah. Can I be your friend, Ken? <laughs> hey, come on! I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> yeah, and they do have a visitor um, a discount that you don't have to pay the full entry for one event, and then if you, you know, 
There's a it's it, it's they're just trying to make it grow, and it's they're working hard at it. Well, cool. But, uh, it it looks like they'll get bigger as it, and it has gotten bigger. They had 44 archers, so um, I think the first one they had, and they do an indoor indoor piece too, so it's pretty cool. And this uh, is this is one of those. The more they grow, the better, better the payout. Payout for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But yeah, their their structure is really pretty neat. So. Um, S3DA State Indoor in Banks County. Well, I could say Hazard County because we were. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roscoe didn't show up this time. Roscoe, there wasn't a Roscoe, Roscoe Pico train. Roscoe Pico train didn't have to come up there at all. But uh, we did have an ambulance. Um, you know, yeah, so I heard about that. Girl had a seizure. But that's all right. We ended up with 153 shot uh, scores um, recorded. I think is what, what I should have said. That's say. a we lot of a, young kids in one building oh at one time. All day long. All day long. I shouldn't say at one time, but, you know, in and out. That was, that oh, was yeah. a lot of kids. It was a lot. Was, uh, and, and continues to grow every year. Um, S3DA in this state is just growing at such a such a rapid pace. Um, uh, slowly getting to where we're going to outgrow facilities, which is a cool For problem sure. to have. But uh, it's good to see all the kids out and that, that many bows with the youngsters. I mean, Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. It is. Sorry, I got a text message I got to respond to real quick. I hear you. That's what happens with work, right? Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I tell you what's funny is um, if every qualified shooter had signed up to show up, we would not have room to shoot. We would have had to been a two-day event. Wow. That's where we were at. Wow. And it got pretty scary there for a little while. So, I I almost look by next year state indoor year it, it's going to be it's either going to have to be a Friday night Saturday or Saturday Sunday I I truly think you're going to outgrow one day by next season. Yep. So, well, that's great. I mean, I mean, it's a problem. Don't get me wrong, but it's a great problem to have. For sure. I mean, that's what we want. We want to have that problem. I mean, mm-hmm. it's uh trying to get trying to get what we want to get. I'm trying to work on some microphones here because. Uh, Robbie popped in there real loud for a second. <laughs> He's usually mm-hmm. back, backed off a little bit. You know, the, one of the things I love so much about S3DA is it, it's teaching everything. Uh, I mean, it's teaching right. all three disciplines. It's teaching conservation. It, I mean, right. it, it's probably one of the most well-rounded programs. And then it's set up so much for the kids to, to help them after they get out of high school if they want to if they want to look forward uh, with some scholarships and stuff like that. I mean, it's just an all-around great program. For That's sure. a fact. That's a That's fact. Well, it was great, and uh, we have a lot of recordings that are coming out for all of them that uh, sat sat down with us. Uh, a whole lot of personal best, um, <laughs> and a whole lot of that. That was the trend. I mean, it seemed oh, like yeah, every it's... young person to come and sat down. Yep. After you know scoring, well, how'd you do? I shot my personal best. Personal how'd best. you do? I shot my personal best. I think we went on a run of like twelve. It was it or was something. Yeah, it was a lot. But, yeah, we had a good time, and all of those podcasts will be uploaded in pieces so that everybody can hear them. Uh, Well, on Sunday, we uh, had another round of shooting. Kennesaw Archery Club that had uh, moved their shoot from last week for the flood, moved it to Sunday, and they ended up with 30 archers. From what I understand, it's pretty darn cold on Sunday morning. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I I I wasn't very spry here early Sunday morning. So I seen some Facebook posts coming from Kennesaw Archery on Sunday showing some thirty ones and some thirty twos and that's definitely cold. testing that level of commitment for yes. sure. Yes. Well North but, uh, Forty also shot. We don't know exactly how many archers they had. Um but they did right. shoot on Sunday as well. I, yeah, I couldn't find any information out on that. And Outback Archery, um Ended up with 44 archers down there to, uh, this weekend. He was he was very happy. He actually seen seen uh, he came in the store this week and he was very happy with what he had. So uh, R and D uh, over there with Bill and Blake uh, shot on Sunday had 27 archers. Yep. And then Sweetwater Archery Club, which remember I caught it right as we was fixing to do, um, found their darn uh, list of shoot dates. Ended up with 31 archers. So that's who uh, shot this past weekend with several people that were shooting good. So 
And if you haven't been to any of these, uh, I've shot every one of those that, that from Sunday, and they all set great, great. ranges, yep. and they're all you know good within people. an hour's drive of where we're at. So, all all of them good people, good good fun to hang out, and they all have good courses. Yep. Well, if you watched the video last weekend, and you probably heard it if you listened to the podcast, the cam video had everybody riled up to shoot 3D. I was ready to go like yes, dude, that school. video was fire. Go fire a light up. I was going to come to your house, turn the lights on, shoot all your targets because I was at that. I was wanting it that bad. Um, but so that means this weekend, starting truthfully tomorrow, right? Tomorrow will be Thursday. Well, when this comes out, um, they will be shooting the team shoot, I reckon, uh, tomorrow. And everybody's headed that way. And uh, I saw where several are already there. Oh, yeah. There's several already there trying to do their thing. But if you're not going to the ASA and you do want a place to shoot, Rocky Comfort is shooting there in Louisville, Georgia. They're, uh, they're actually having a shoot on uh, Saturday. So you can uh, go over there and shoot with them if you're not going to the ASA. And then we're going to look at ASA stuff all weekend long. We'll probably launch people, get pictures, um, you know, that kind of thing. And talk about it as we go it'll see it all over the social media you Who's got some what? secret uh photographers over there to get some i'm i i wish i did uh i had had some of that lined up and then some of that didn't go like it should have so mm -mm. it's always something right mm -hmm. um, well, i'm sure somebody will send some pictures oh yeah i got i got some folks that are, that are supposed to be sending me some pictures um, I'm hoping that the George Archery logo makes a makes a presence some, some, somewhere out there. So, um, but that's what's going on. That's how this weekend's really not like a lot to talk about for what's going on because we all know that the big show is happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. First one Saturday, of the year. Yeah, and Saturday afternoon, I hope uh, to be watching some Georgia archers in some of the classes shoot for the shoot down. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. to see some of our brethren and sister and oh, yeah. now. Hopefully, Ken Wood for the first time. Ken That'd Wood be cool. for the first time. That would be really I cool. I to say good, you know, big shout out to Ken making his debut this weekend mm -hmm. in the, uh, in the pro right. class, the old Senior man pro, pro class. <laughs> yep. Uh, so hoping, hoping he does great this week. He, you know, he had a great weekend last week. It looked like. So yep. I believe the verdict is ready to go. It's, so and he was still working. Um, trying to get to fine tune it. Um, uh, I know that there's, uh, you know, the the normals. Uh, Kaylee Johnston, she was ready. Um, uh, Boykin from uh, Savannah area. Him. You know, he's, yep. He's he said he was hot and ready. He was he was answering to shoot some real targets for real people. For I mean, you know, in a, with a real group of people instead of just in his yard. That's what he told me. So. Yeah, uh, Miss Tiffany Tanner last weekend was getting some practice in. Last weekend mm -hmm. practice. I saw ready. that. Yep, and then, uh, you know, that old big time, down, you know, he's on the <laughs> – you never oh. know about old big time. But uh, we <laughs> wish him the best of luck, see if he can get on that on that podium. And uh, old Sam, you know, Sam's doing his thing, uh, and uh, he was ready to go. He was he was chomping at the bit when I saw him at Lancaster. He's like, I just want to shoot 3D target, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But uh, so, yeah, I, we wish in all of them, and I know I've missed some because we always do. Um, darn it, darn it. Uh, Byron. Oh, Byron, yeah, he's making he his makes debut his, makes in his a pro debut class as well. In a pro class as well. And then, uh, uh, I mean, there's several. I, and I don't know, I'm just drawing a blank. You know, it's been a long day. God, I, I hate to miss anybody. But if you are a Georgia Archer, we're going to wish you luck no matter what class you shoot in. Mm -hmm. so. I, I think I'm going to go shoot in a Junior Eagle class. <laughs> you, better, you better stay up here with you us better, old folks. I don't think you want to go up. down there. You got to tighten up down there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no joke. I seen them kids shooting this weekend. <laughs> Man, they was, the, was calling out them pins classes, and they were shooting 340-something Xs. And I'm like, what? And kids, oh, my goodness. They were tearing it up. Yeah, you better stay with us old folks. You go down there and them kids make you make you hurt your feelings. I, mm -hmm. I was watching them shoot. It was, I do um, want to. I do want to say we had a bunch of um, things that didn't get on the. Um, while I'm thinking, right, things that didn't get on the uh, show notes. We had a lot of kids that shot the Kentucky 
U.S. Archery Indoor Nationals this past weekend. We had several people up there from Georgia. So uh, congratulations to the ones that, you know, shot real well. And I forgot, I counted it was 14 or 15 of kids that were up there and adults that shot from uh, Georgia that went to the – because U.S. Archery Nationals breaks it up into multiple places. And so you could have shot real early in Florida or you could have shot um, – you know this one and then there's one more i think but uh you know they got one different places virginia's having one somewhere so but uh congratulations for all those that traveled all that way and then um you know like i said we talked about the baker circuit and then uh that new uh tso i don't know if you saw anything on the tso but what is uh, the tso it's the shootout the shootout series, series. Um, started Kentucky, um, and, uh, they built this thing around Kentucky, Tennessee, whatever. Now they brought some into Georgia, some into, uh, Alabama. And so we had some, several Georgians that were, uh, they went up there and actually brought a belt buckle back. Uh, Mr. Frederick, uh, come back with his belt buckle and, uh, Jesse, uh, Garrett, and uh, I think his daughter daughter podium too. So I think I seen uh, some of the paces. Maybe it was over. Yeah. Um, uh, it looked uh, like a real cool shoot off a, too. It looked like it's yeah, kind of Lancaster they do, kind of they do, mentality. They, with it the, do put it. It was in Murfreesboro. Is where that's the, cool. Where the shoot off was, or no, not Murfreesboro. Yeah, Murfreesboro, River, Tennessee. So yeah, that's where they had it, and it's, they set them on a podium, and they actually set it, set you on a podium, and they were shooting four kids at a time or four people at a time. And you, your opponent was standing beside you shooting, and then they had, a, you know, like the male and the female uh, age group shot at the same time, so they got it done faster. It was pretty cool, mm, but it was yeah. live viewed on YouTube and the whole night. Well, a lot of that was going on Saturday, wasn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because I kept seeing little times. little blips, but you know, yeah, there I know, you, you know Jesse, Jesse Garrett won the he won the bow hunter class, so uh, congratulations to him. So that's I just those that I there's things that you miss when you're doing twenty five things at once, right? Yeah. Well, this but, ain't your full time gig, so no, it it's not like you're sitting back spending several hours studying and researching and putting everything no, together. So, but I caught it. So yeah, you know, I got so you haven't completely lost your mind, just part of it. I didn't didn't <laughs> know I had one. <laughs> but look, we got a little music in the background. Talk about completely. Um, well, you know, one of the cool things is we talked about, you know, Baker starting and, and really getting rolling pretty good and the shootout series and some of the other stuff is uh, if you're interested in archery and you're wanting to shoot, the, the sport continues to grow. And uh, there's almost not a weekend goes by from here to about August that you can't find some place to shoot if you really want to. 100%. Mm-hmm. So if you're wanting mm-hmm. to get out there, you want to have a good time, there's, there's, there's plenty of places in and around Georgia to do it. Right. Yep. Yep. Well, if you uh, if you uh, want to find a place, find out when and where and how, like uh, a date of some reason, like where a date is bending, where can you find that information, Robbie? Uh, you could probably <laughs> go to georgiaarchery.com. Yep, georgiaarchery.com. You can find us on uh, Facebook. You can find us on the what? The tweeter. The tweeter. Yep. <laughs> you can find the us tweeter. on the X, on the X now. Yep. It'll always be Twitter. Yep. You can find us on uh, Snappy Chats. Yep. Yep. And well, then, I I can't find you on Snapchat because I don't do it, but you know, yeah. I'm sure somebody well, can find you. There's it's the, some of the same stuff's been posted in the stories on on Snapchat as it is on the other. So um, you can find us on. Uh, the biggest thing right now is TikTok. I mean, yep. it really. Is. I was fixing to say you can find it on the talk, and the talk is growing big. We picking up numbers. The biggest thing I ask for everybody is to if you follow us on YouTube, like and share, right? Mm-hmm. If you follow us on Facebook, like and share. If you follow wherever you like us, follow us, share it, tell everybody about it so we can know and um, we can grow our numbers because you know. Well, it's all about growing the sport ultimately, that's and that's right. what we're trying to do. And so if more people that know about us and then they'll contact us and we can spread more word about anything that's going on. So mm-hmm. I guess that's uh, going to be about it today. I was going to say, that's about it. Yep. Ken? Oh, good hey, man. You. Yeah, dude, you got to do this again. Well, I enjoy getting to hang out. <laughs> yeah. 
This is almost like we're all getting to hang out in the range again. We're just almost. You know, three hours apart. <laughs> the, yeah. the gang's all back together again, huh? Kind of. Yeah. It was it was good. So. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you can find us on all of that. If you have a question or a comment or you want to send me a message, uh, you can email me at georgiarchery at gmail.com. But all until complaints next, also go to the Robbie uh, Surface. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, no. <laughs> all right. Until next time, I'm Big John. And I'm Robbie. And I'm Ken. We'll see ya. <laughs>